is it possible that we are living in a black hole is it possible that a black hole has eaten us and we are inside it and also is it possible that every black hole contains an entire universe around it so this is a question that many physicists have taken up seriously in the past that it it may be possible that black holes could contain a baby a black hole could possibly contain a baby universe inside it because we don't know what lies beyond the event horizon so it is conceivable that there could be if you have a large enough black hole it could essentially have an entire universe inside it it is conceivable but so so let's consider the possibility that our universe is essentially is actually the inside of a black hole of, a, of an enormous black hole so is it is this consistent with what we know about the universe and the laws of physics so we know that uh, that the universe has a temperature there is an average temperature of the universe which is about 2 point something kelvin which is extremely cold is just barely above absolute zero so this is the temperature of the cosmic microwave background radiation that permeates the entire universe so and we know that there are black holes supermassive black holes that are colder than this and they are smaller so the so basically if you we know that black holes have a temperature and based on the temperature of a black hole we can determine the radius of the black hole and the volume and area of a black hole it's all interrelated right the radius of a schwarzschild radius is 2 mg by c squared where m is the mass of the black hole g is gravitational newton's gravitational constant and c is the speed of light 2 mg divided by c squared that is the radius schwarzschild radius of a black hole and the mass is proportional to the temperature of a black hole so we can calculate the temperature of a black hole from the radius and vice versa we can calculate the radius of a black hole from the temperature now if you had a black hole which had the temperature of our of our universe then it would be much smaller the calculations shows that they it would be much smaller than the radius that the than the size of the observable universe it would be very much smaller than that so this is one inconsistency that we have that for a temperature of 2. Point something kelvin you get a re reasonably small black hole not something that's bigger than the observable universe this is, that is the first inconsistency and the second inconsistency is that we know that the universe is expanding it's expanding now black holes don't expand right unless there is something inside a black hole uh, only a certain region of space inside a black hole that expands we don't know that right so there is another inconsistency that our universe is actually expanding we know it's exp we have observed it we are aware of the fact that it's expanding we have this is proven by by uh, observational evidence but black holes don't expand so once again this is an inconsistency so there are inconsistencies uh if you try to assume that we are inside a black hole and that the universe is the interior of a black hole whose temperature is 2. Point whatever kelvin so it doesn't look like the universe is the inside of a black hole but it may be possible that these small black holes that we have even supermassive ones may contain a universe of some kind inside them it is possible but most likely the universe that we live in is not the interior of a black hole from the best information and knowledge that we have